Hello, students. I wanted to take just a moment to kind of go over the steps on how to make a graph using numbers. Now, I'm going to include the written explanation of this, but I think it's also helpful to go through and be able to see that. And so that is the point of, of this video. So let me first share my iPad so um, you can see exactly how to do this. So what you see here is my iPad and the app I wanna use is the numbers app. So I wanna bring up numbers by just clicking on the numbers app, which is green and has a bar graph on it. And so that'll bring up my um, graphing app, the numbers app, and I wanna click on the plus in the upper right hand corner of the screen. So go ahead and click on that. And I want to pick the basic one. So don't pick any of the other ones because they have a lot of code inside of them that will make your graph not work correctly. So uh, just click the blank basic one and that's where we're going to start. And so you can see what that does is that brings up a data table. So I'll want to put in my data into the data table so it can use that information to create my graph. So the first one I'm going to put in here is going to be the names. And so I just kind of double tap on that and that brings up my keyboard. And then in the second column here, I'm going to put height. And I want to make sure that I include my units in here. So height, I'm measuring to the nearest um, tenth of a centimeter, but the units that I'm using are centimeter. And so then I just start recording my data that I have uh, collected from class. And so I'm gonna put in a couple of these here. And so I measured it to the nearest tenth, so um, I need to include that on there. And then I'll go ahead and put Bill in here um, Bill was um, 187.2 and uh, oop, I got 187.2. Ah, okay, here we go. And so uh, the point I want to make here is on the height make sure you're only including the number. Uh, you don't want to include any text in there because then that'll mess up the graph. Now I'm gonna pause my video here as I uh, put in the rest of the data. And I think I can do that by going back to sharing here and then Okay, so I've put in all my data. So let's go back to uh, me sharing my screen here. And so you can see exactly what that's gonna look like. So you can see I now have all of my data into my data table and I'm ready to rock and roll. Um, one thing you might notice also is that there's a lot of columns and a lot of rows that I don't necessarily need that are on my data table. So one good way of solving that is you can see in the upper right hand corner there, I have those two little dots. And if I grab onto those two little dots up there, that allows me to move these rows over so I can kind of hide those. And then I can do the same thing here on the bottom part. You can see there's the little rows down there. I can bring that up because that's really all my graph is. You know, they're, they're just kind of hiding the rows, hiding the columns. So I don't have to worry about those. So I have my data table now. I have it, uh, I have my names and I have my height of each of those students. And I want to create a graph of that. Now, uh, because this is uh, the type of data that this is, you know, it is not continuous data, it's discrete data. The type of graph that I want to use is going to be a bar graph. 
So the first thing I want to do is I want to select my data by just tapping on one of those um, boxes and dragging that little area around that. Now there are several ways I can do it, but this is the easiest way that I have found. And that is click on cell actions. And you can see that brings up this other chart and I wanna create a new chart. And again, the one I wanna create is the bar graph. So it's the very first one. Don't pick the other ones, the 3D or interactive or any of those other ones, because again, that has code in it that is going to make your graph look kind of weird. So, um, you know, that is, you know, going to be then the graph that I want to make. And, and this has all the information in it that I need, um, but it's not properly labeled. So um, we're going to be talking about the graphing checklist and I'll want to include that information uh, from the graphing checklist into my graph. So the easiest way to do it is you can see I have my graph selected and then I click on the little paintbrush up here. And within that paintbrush, there are several things that I wanna check and uncheck. The first is I do want to include a title, so I wanna make sure that's checked. In this particular one, I do not need a legend, so I'm gonna uncheck that one. And that's what I need to do as far as the, uh, the, the chart. As far as my style, um, and I hate that name, style, but um, it's actually, I'm gonna wanna put labels for my X and Y axis. So I wanna turn on names for my Y axis and names for my X axis. And you can see when I did that, those showed up onto the graph. And again, I got to that by clicking the paintbrush and style and then along the top here, you can see there are labels and, and, and uh, that's what I want to include. So I can go back to my graph now and you can see that those are now on my graph, but they're not properly labeled. So I just want to double tap on where it says title, back that up and the title for this is going to be um, height or student height. Okay, and so I, because I have my students are my, on my Y axis and I, I'm sorry, on my X axis down there. And then the height is on my Y axis. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. And this is going to be height. And the units that I'm using are gonna be in centimeters. And that's important to include on that axis. Okay, and then along the bottom part here, these are my students. And so just to kind of do a quick check here, I have my um, title of my graph. I have my, you know, Y axis is labeled with units and my X axis is labeled with units. Um, just some other interesting things too, if I want to make my graph a little bigger, I can size that by clicking on it and making it bigger or smaller, and that can be helpful too. But then I want to take this graph and I want to put it into Notability, and the easiest way to do it is I just click on it, I click Copy, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull this into Notability so you can see what that looks like. And um, go to where I want that particular graph to go. And then I need to click on the T in notability bar there. And when I do that, I'll get the option to paste my graph right into notability. And uh, so then I have my graph into notability. I'll just wanna make sure that I also include my data over here on the data section. And uh, once I'm able to do that, once I get that information in there, um, you know, I've created my bar graph and so on. So again, I'll be going over this in class, and, but I just thought it would be helpful for students who um, are at home and working on this, they'll have a copy of exactly the steps that we went through. So um, 
glad you were able to uh, stick through this. I know it was kind of hard, uh, but but uh, you know if you needed to go back and rewatch any parts of it or, or ask for clarification, just let me know. So thank you so much.